Ah. You are finally awake. Good. I feared you had suffered some lasting injury. Lord Robert awoke a short while ago. He is outside speaking with the High Lama. We should join them. Better late than never, eh? What are you staring at me like that for? Is there something on my face? It is your physique, Lord Robert. You were a good deal slighter only a short time ago. Heh! <laughs> oh, that! Nothing a good breakfast couldn't cure. Aye, the Grand Master put me through worse on more than one occasion. Lord Robert has told me what came to pass in the void, that you met Grand Master Pang, and that she trained you in the ancient arts. I hear that you were even able to master the ultimate abilities of your ancestor Erdwin. You have my congratulations. And I hear that I owe you a debt of thanks, Sir Henry, for looking after the boy here while I was away. Please think nothing of it, my lord. It is the least I could do to make amends for all the wrongs I have done. Indeed, I feel I must apologize. Ah, oh, don't torture yourself over it, son. We've all been pawns in Mordigan's game. You have nothing to apologize for. Thank you. Truly. What do you intend to do now? We had hoped to find guidance here in Angry La, but alas, we find ourselves at an impasse. Well, funnily enough, I was just thinking about something Grandmaster Pang told me. She said Old Erdwin used a very special form of transport when he went after the Dark One. Some sort of sacred flying contraption. Whatever could that mean? I didn't get the chance to ask her any more about it. But it sounds like just what we need to get up to that castle and knock Mordigan off his perch. As for our old friends, none of them were exactly the giving up type, eh? If I'm still alive and kicking, you can bet the rest of them are out there somewhere. So, what say we head over to Arborea and keep an eye out for our pals on the way? If this flying doodad's supposed to be sacred, the folks over there'll know something about it for sure. There's no time to lose. The longer we wait, the stronger Mordigan gets. Disciples of Angrila will do all that we can to aid you in your preparations to take on the Lord of Shadows. We have even devised a special training regime for you. Visit us again soon. We will stand ready to help you hone your powers. <laughs>
the day.
the power of the dark cats! Another day, another victory!
<laughs> that man is in danger. We must go to his aid. Oh no you don't honey Not unless you want to carry those claws home in a bag huh? Don't say I didn't warn you Silvendo, ah! <laughs> darling, you were fabulous! So fierce! Fierce doesn't even begin to describe it. You were ferocious! <laughs> <laughs> Can it be? Can it truly, truly be? Truly, truly, truly? It is. I think it really is. Darling, it's so wonderful to see you. Oh, I thought you were lost to me forever. Um, you two are acquainted? And, uh, w what is it that you do, exactly? Oh, come now. Isn't it obvious? We're fighting an epic battle to bring back something the world has lost! <laughs> it's Smile! That's right, darlings. We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world. My little parade has picked up quite the cavalcade of warriors for wondrousness. Aren't they just so much fun? But never mind that now. I can't believe you're alive. It's a miracle. I thought I'd never see you again. Excuse me? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry I forgot all about you. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? No, no, I am not. Thanks to you. You are more strong than you appear. My name is Da. I come from Phnom Non in the south. And if it were not for your help, I would not be returning there. Thank you. Oh, you're heading home. Then we better go with you. Can't have you getting attacked again now, can we? Hmm? Listen, darling, you and me have got a lot to talk about. So what do you say you join the parade for a little while, huh? Come on. You know you want to. Oh, yay! I'm so excited! Okay, time for you to take your first steps as a soldier of the Smile Spreading Special Forces. Here! Put these on. No, oh, you look even more adorable than I thought you would. So proud. All right, boys. Let's make our newest recruit feel right at home. He's an old friend of mine, after all. <laughs> Lead on, darling! And don't let me cut you frowning. You're at the head of the world's premier gladness-bringing parade! All right, let's get out there and make the world smile! And shimmy! <laughs> <laughs>